Oh, let me do this one thing. Apologies for the noise. Okay. At least you won't have to hear a fan the entire time. Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Apologies for not streaming Ring Fit on Tuesday. Uh, I was very, very tired. And I still kind of am. Uh, still, like, mentally exhausted, but this time I'm not napping and asleep when I normally would stream. So, here we are. Ready to do more Ring Fit. Go through the usual health and safety. And here we are. Okay. A week and a half ago, I said I was turning down the, the uh, difficulty, so I'll do that again this time. It's day 63. Nope. Pop. What? No. 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 I, that's. I pressed back, like to go to go back. You know. Can I like restart this? Hold on. Wait. I mean, hold on. I I know how to do this. We'll do it this way. <laughs> so it doesn't save it or anything like that, and it should still say day sixty three, right? Come on, load it up. Load it up. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's try this again. Day 63. Okay, it's still day 63, but at the very least I get to stretch this time. I didn't get to adjust my difficulty, but I can do that from now. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. This stretch targets the area between the thighs and glutes. So I hope even though I didn't stream ring fit yes. for the last Just week and like a half, that, that if, you're, the heel lift if you're exercising and doing your thing, Bring the then you're still keeping up with up it. Toward the ring con. It's my hope anyway. I, I feel like consistency is an important thing when it comes to working out. This is why every morning at 8 a.m., except Good. on weekends, Next I play the back fitness boxing too. Take a on the weekends, I let myself sleep a little bit longer. And then just do it at like 10 or 11. Breathe in as you or sometimes your even Breathe in the out. afternoon on a back. Sunday. If I had something to do like go and get brunch with a friend or anything like that. Stretching. But I do it every day. I do that daily exercise. Let's do one more of each. I like ring fit that I only do twice right. a week. Finally, spread your feet. I know, it's, it's a good thing. Raise the ring con above your head and lean also, to the side. Also, um, I watched three Face episodes of anime today. Drop. I watched the latest episode of Josh Me Dropkick. Try not to bounce. Which is pretty good. Stretch. Miku actually sang in it this time, which is nice, and she even had her lead. Like, play with Let's and dance with while she sang. It was cute. The Josh and horse was kind of messed up. And the regular horse, too. But. So. It was fun. It's just a nonsensical, silly show. Okay, there we go. Uh, so let's recap because it's been a while. You spoke to a robot who complained Drago closed all the training gyms that did specialize in arms. The battle gym, on the other hand, was still open for business. You wasted no time in overcoming the nearest battle gym. Cool. All right, um, there it is. Huh? Oh, okay. 
Wait, did I start this game when I was 30? Huh. Well, I'm 31 now. Uh, how much do you think you exercise? Some? How challenging. I mean, you know, I like to sweat. Okay, what are you gonna give me? Alright, 21. Okay, so that's a pretty steep dive down from where we were. But I'm okay with that. Alright, uh... I... I, did we go through this already? Yes? That's, that's whatever. I wonder how you get to the treasure chest. Right. Sure, we met a gold robot, but we didn't get the full robot experience. The graceful flip of its intake cap. The heroic guzzling of the most finely sweet smoothie. The satisfying clink of the cap closing on his nearly full tank. Oh, what if? What if a gold robot happened to run out of fuel and we just happened to stumble across it in its hour of need? Oh, there it is. A gold robot! It's out of fuel, a lucky day. Alright, he's blueberry smoothie. Uh, I, I have no idea if we have one, do, do we? Blueberry smoothie, let's see. Blue. All right, grape shake, prunes, blueberry soda, blueberry tea, blueberry soda. Here we go. Are you really ready? Spiteful. Squeeze. Finished. Here you go, robot. <laughs> Provide smoothie. Here, please. Oh. The nozzle. It's fully automatic. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, suck up the entire smoothie in one quick, efficient maneuver. Hmm. Hey, where's the clink? Can't leave it on that satisfying clinking cup. Clog. Ah. It locked. Yeah. Alright, there we go. We're great. Oh. I don't know how to feel about this gold robot. I think you should feel fine. Alright, uh, so, we're doing some stuff, let's go ahead and knock that out of the way. Um, I think everything else seems pretty good, overall. <sighs> no, I should be good. Excuse me. Um, I don't really want to lose my knee lip combo. Let's, uh, let's ditch the warrior team. Actually, oh, it was 350. We could ditch the staining twist, I suppose. Though I like the staining twist in all honesty. But we gotta, we gotta mix it up every now and then, so. Alright. Here we go. Like I said, I watched three anime today. Well, two anime, three episodes. Because I was behind a little bit on uh, the Yakuza Guide to Babysitting. Awesome work. Keep it up. When you want to vacuum something up, just pull on me from both sides. Great. So much stuff. We're really taking the highway here, though, aren't we? Good. Um, but I, besides Joshi and Dropkick, Score! I also the like Yakuza's, Yakuza's okay, Guide to Babysitting. And I watched two episodes of that because I somehow managed to miss the sixth episode. Keep pushing me in against your stomach. I watched that as well as the seventh. Very cute. It seems like I'm like. More so than usual, I've been, uh, enjoying... Been enjoying, uh, like, cute family things, I guess? Like, I've been reading Moto Takagi-san, which is the grown-up version of Takagi, where they have a kid together. And it's still cute, nonsensical teasing, and those kind of things, but... With the added twist of his daughter now teases them too. 
but also his daughter gets teased by Takagi as well, who's now just the mom. But she's not even Takagi anymore, now she's Nisha Kata. That's very cute. Not all the way through. I think I'm like halfway through the manga, I'm not caught up yet. But it's fun. And uh, the Yakuza Babysitter one, kind of similar, in a way. Like it has, you know, the, the guy learning to be a better person, basically, <laughs> by taking care of the boss's daughter. Select the skill. Shuffle. Overhead press. Yep. Overhead press. Let's see how we do. Okay, let's go. Twenty-two. Okay, oh, goodness. Like force. Very nice. I believe in my arms. Fantastic. I think they can do it. Nicely done. I do. Yeah. Great. I don't think I can really get my arms fully in the picture, but Excellent. I'll do my best. Neat. Amazing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's cute though. If, if you like things like uh, Way of the House Husband and okay. other things with the uh, like Yakuza with the Heart of Gold type thing, well then you probably probably enjoy the Yakuza Guy to Baby City. The same genre as goes in a way. Which is kind of comedy Good with a hint of violence. Romantic beat em up. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's good. Not even romantic. I mean, I guess uh, the boss's daughter has like a little bit of a crush on him, but it's not like a romantic thing. It's just, just a little kid. It's really cute. Mm. It warms your heart. Um. Okay, let's move. Imagine holding something in your arm. Okay. And uh, let's see, what else is new? All right. Fake Grand Order came out with uh, a bunch of interludes recently. Yes. Oh, recently, as in two days ago, nice. or a day and a half ago, nice. like yesterday Great. night. Like midnight yesterday. Uh, I'm done with them already. They were see, like they released the interludes and they want people to do them, so they make it like one half or one fourth AP cost. But it just it makes it so so easy to be done with them really quickly, and then you're back to farming again. This usual usual things. But I had a uh, like five interludes. Let's see. I did one for Shuken Doji, which unlocked her gauge. I didn't realize that she got an MP gauge, but she has one now. Um, Shuken Doji, uh, Kama had one that didn't have a skill upgrade. It was just same force associated with it. And Kama's was kind of like silly. Like it had to go through each of her ascension forms and such, where she was giving you a break and trying to like help you relax and such. And like <laughs> they uh, like. On the notice notification for it, they're like, warning may contain things that may be like, like viewer discretion is advised, basically, is what they had on that. Did I get rid of the words? Um, and like, I played the interview expecting something horrible to happen, like her just like trying to murder us or do something weird. And no, it was fine. Like, there wasn't anything unusual about Kama's interview. So, I wonder if they just like put that there because like some people get upset about her first ascension. But I mean like walking around an amusement park with little Kama, like it's, okay, I, I don't see what's disturbing time. about that. Get to switch legs. Twist slowly. Like she goes a little bit yonder at the very, very end of it, but like for like a second before Pravati smacks her in the head, essentially. So, and it's nothing like stranger than what you would normally see from D.O.D. men. If anything, it's more tame. Abgar. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze! Yeah, there's also an interlude for red hair, where you finally realize that he's not fucking Lou Boo. Good god, I, I, Red Hair is such an annoying character. 
I don't like red hair. In general, I don't really like animals with talk. Especially when they're horses. Like horse centaur man. Very unnecessary. And his skills suck ass. I'm not gonna lie. He's just a weird unit to use. And like, literally all his skills are like times based. So like, like, oh cool, he has a quick up for uh, for three turns. That's nice. Except that it's three turns, three times. So within three turns, you can only use it three times to get the book. So it's not even that useful. And I'm pretty sure he also wants uh, materials from the Lost Gulfs. I definitely don't want to give those life face with extension marks. Put the wind pump down here. Oh, oh, we're doing this. Okay. Um, but yeah, so red hair had one. Then, uh, who else? Who else had one? I think I'm gonna flip this one, I do. Um. Tough one. Did Wu have one? No. You didn't. Let me. Hold on. This is bothering me because I literally did all of them. And I'm blanking on it. Oh, right. Susie and uh, Atalanta Altar. Sorry, Susie also showed up in Atalanta's. So I think in my brain they got mixed together. But uh, yeah. Atalanta Altar's was all right. I don't really like her very much like, as a character. So I was a bit meh on it. She got um, she got kind of a weird upgrade and people told me that it's, it's actually good for like future stuff. Or she gets a Buster up update. Like, she gets a skill that increases her Buster uh, effectiveness. But she's a quick servant. Like, her NP is quick. I mean, she's a Berserker. She has two red cards. But she also has two quick, and if you're, if you're using her NP, typically it's more likely you're gonna be chaining quick. Like, try to loop it, or just make more stars for her to beat up people with and whatnot. Or, Kind of weird. Okay. The weird thing to add to her. Sure. Um, and then Susie's, okay. uh, Susie the goes and her skill upgrade, or the skill or NP upgrade. Either way, she gets more critical nice. strike. I think it's on her NP actually, but she gets more critical up, which is good because her whole, her whole shtick is that you use her NP to generate a shit ton of stars and then you crit them to death afterwards. So makes sense. But yeah, the interludes are fun. Susie's uh, had Tomamos, as well as regular Atlanta show up, and uh, Jaguar. Jaguar Man show up, because they're having a battle of who has the fluffiest ears. As you do. Just normal, everyday things in Kaudia. So this is actually like a good stretch for my right arm. Two days ago, I woke up and then like rolled in like just the wrong way. And, like it made the uh, like, right along my tricep. Like it felt like I pulled something or like tore something or something like that. So it's been a little bit sore. And this this feels nice. Feels like I'm giving it a good stretch out. Fine work. Fine work. Sharp. Okay. Great. Let's pick up the pace. Very nice. This poor guy on the left right over there. Like, he's utterly nice. destroyed. Great. One left. Nice. And Excellent. Not that the others will last much longer. You feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. <laughs> Overhead press. Good. Yes, sir. Ready. Okay, let's go. Good for working those upper arms. Neat. Keep it up. I think she's gonna die okay. before we get to 22. Awesome. Great. That one's down. Yep. <laughs> hey there, uh. Fluttergate. Hey there, Pony Express.
Easy. Your sweat is so shiny and beautiful. Darn it, not to looks. Is that what that thing in the middle was? Alright, let's get out of here. That was a very odd. You did it! Now turn your there, exercise sure. into experience points with a victory pose. So, how should fight deer? Yeah. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release towards victory! <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be like the lightest of exercise. I mean, like the flutter kick might have gotten us up a little bit. Measuring. But I feel like there's a good chance it's not really that much. <laughs> no, I did have a burger for dinner. No, flight exercise. Also, happy Thursday, Turtles Age. Almost lost sight of our goal again. While we were occupied here, Drago has had free reign to continue his arm training. But now that the robots are all topped off, we can head straight for Drago. Can we, though? Can we? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, 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 tower. Um, I thought I got rid of the warrior, too. But I guess not. I don't know what to put on it. Maybe I'll, you know what? I'm gonna do standing twist instead of warrior too. I, I like getting that like that twisty stretch on your hips and waist. It kind of feels nice. Here we go. Okay. Time to run. Through the foggy area. Although, is this an area or an arena? Oh no, it's an area. Come on. Here we go. Try bending your elbow oh. slightly and keep pulling on me. I wonder if that feels good for the ring. Like, similar to how good it feels, like just stretch and whatnot. I can't imagine the ring really gets to stretch himself too often. Not like he has arms or anything. This probably feels nice. Yeah. I imagine, maybe. Alright, here we go. Check the enemy's color shuffle. Boat right. pose. Boat pose. <sighs> Ready. Bend slowly. Yeah, I think we're not supposed to touch the ground. Right? That's the hard part of the exercise? When lowered, you sure don't, you don't touch the ground. Good. Good. Don't touch the ground. You can do it. Use the maps. And good. You made it! But that halfway down on everyone's health. No need to rush though. Your legs bend slightly. Squeeze. <laughs> also, um, so in the in the stream title, you'll see that the next game after we finish Ring Fit is this game called Yes Your Grace. Some kind of like indie run your run your country as the king or queen kind of thing. It seems like it, just, it should be like kind of a fun one-off, I think. But um, I almost, like this close, almost did uh, the new Kirby game with the eating. Because it's only 15 bucks. But it looks like you really need online play in order to do anything. And this is falling up. Um, and I don't really feel like renewing my subscription <laughs> for uh, Nintendo Online for like a single game at the moment. So I didn't buy it. But we'll see if that changes over this weekend. Well, that was awful. I, since I had to adjust that, I lost like tons of damage that we would have done. But it looks really cute and fun. The fact that it's a Kirby 4 player game kind of reminds me of Kirby's Air Ride. 
Which I remember having like a lot of fun with as a kid. But that also had a city mode, which was super fun. And I don't know if there's any kind of like achievement system in the in the new one. You made it. Awesome. Oh hey! Wow, that's a lot of damage. Uh, sure. We can do that instead of the tricep kickback, maybe. Although this one's a single target, so... We can do it instead of the seated ring. That, that seems good. Oh, oh, is it squat time? Jump a little higher by bending your knees more. Outstanding. Oh, this is this is gonna take like what, to like ten squats or something? Get up there. Squats. This is like the third or fourth time we've done this. Because I don't have a car. I only have a motorcycle. And uh, 
I've been thinking for a little while that I should go through my clothes okay, let's go. and uh, find all the things that I don't really wear very often or use at all and then donate them to Goodwill. Because it's, uh, okay. well, it's a little bit better than just throwing them out, you know? That you get, you know, a purpose for that kind of thing. So, we are doing that. The, uh, the only trouble is that, like, I don't know if everyone does this, but whenever I go through my clothes, like, I typically make sure to try things on. Like, make sure, it's like, oh, like, does this fit or not? And so I try it on. If it doesn't, then, all right, sure. If it doesn't have any sentimental value, then away it goes. But, um, trying on clothes is kind of tiring, honestly. Like, if you, if you go through, like, 20 or 30 shirts, and like, okay, let's switch sides. Pull it off, put it on, pull it off, put it on, pull it off, pull it on. Okay, let's bend down, go. bend over, put it away. Sure back. Bend back up. Great. Bend down, grab Excellent. another shirt. Bend up. Very put nice. it on. Take it off. Do the same thing over and over and over again. Well done. I don't know, it's just kind of exhausting. Fantastic. Fantastic. So it's a different kind of workout than Ring Fit Adventure, okay. I suppose. But I really do think that I could probably stand to lose some of my clothes because I really don't wear like half of it. Amazing. And it's just kind of taking up space. Nice. And uh, kind of my my thought is if I downsize it enough and whatnot, that maybe I might um, I might clear up enough space to use one of the shelves that I use for my clothes for like other things. And that seems like it could be kind of nice. But we'll see. All depends if I manage to get motivated by that. Oh sweet! Let's do camo dancing. Here we go. Shake your hips. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, good, one, two, one, two. Here's a full range of motion for maximum effect. I feel like Tiff does it so much slower than I do. Excellent! Abgar! With your legs bent slightly, squeeze! Get out of here, robot! Overhead press. Okay, let's move! Be sure not to bend your lower back when you raise your arms. Alright! <laughs> Fantastic! Nicely done! Okay! Amazing! Great! Very nice! Sharp! Neat! Excellent! Well done! Good job! Great! Almost there. Well done. Okay. Two more. Or, or one more. One more works too. That battle was epic. There's at least one more battle in this area. We're gonna beat it. And considering that Drago is next to the boss fight, I don't think I'll be doing that today. So, whatever amount of calories we end up getting with this, the amount of calories we get for today. Great! So it'll probably be at least 80 85, I would think. Unless, like, the goal is, like, right over here. But even then, there should be another monster battle, right? Come on, go faster. I'm squeezing. Very long round. Right on. Fuck 
that. There you go. You got it. That's all three. Doing great. Oh, well, I guess there is another enemy. All right. Well, eighty's fine. Drop your hips. We could maybe go do one of the game gyms, I guess. Just to get a, a little bit more. But I think there was one in the, uh... The shop looked like it said that there was a game gym reward, so... We might have gotten the moderate with this one. Maybe? I'm sweating a little. Yeah, okay, there we go, moderate exercise. Perfect. It's fine. All right, so we worked out for 20 minutes, basically. Burned 80 calories. Not bad at all. Now let's stretch to cool down. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Use your right hand to pull back the fingers of your left hand. While arching Pretend back your left well. wrist, stretch your left arm forward. Also, do you ever like look down at your wrists and be like, wow, those are skinny as fuck. That's how I was feeling earlier when we were doing the, uh, on the, opposite side. the the ab squish move, the block. Take care I don't know, maybe it's just the, the angle or something, but my wrists look really tiny. Self back slowly. Wait. Hey, what's the angle? I don't know. Raise both arms and pull down on your left elbow. Wait, it's all good. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. I do kind of think that I need to start counting calories again, though. Now do the same on the opposite side. Be careful not to let your upper body tilt to the side. yourself back slowly. Join your hands together in front of you. With your palms facing out, stretch out your back. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Now switch legs. If you're less flexible, it's okay if your heel goes off the ground. Yeah, you get such a better stretch if you keep it on the ground though. Bring yourself back slowly. Widen your stance, place your hands on your knees, and drop your hips. Rotate your left shoulder inward and extend your left hip joint. Return to facing forward. Now stretch your right hip joint too. Be sure not to let your knees bend inward. yourself back slowly and your stretching is complete good job all right there we go it's a muscle quiz what's the muscle around your shin that's used to lift up your foot uh Maybe it's this one? Tibia? Like, tibia is a bone in the, the leg, right? Yeah. Yay for multiple choice. Tibia something. 
anterior tibia what's it neat all right well anyway <sighs> yeah today uh this is Lynn. She's super sweet. And this was my exercise today, earlier this morning. I already burned 326. Oh, it was nice. Anyway. Alright, so. Done with our switch for now. Done with our exercise. I hope you all enjoyed your 80 calories being burned i enjoyed mine i suppose um i'm gonna take a quick break to wipe the sweat off and all that business and then i will be back with yes your grace and we'll we'll see what that's like so see uh see you in a bit